In today's video, we're going to be talking about when to expect your first snowfall. This is another video, another seasonal video that we're doing here that you guys eat up every single year. I'm glad to be doing this for you guys, and I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am. Uh, we are going to be doing this one. Uh, we did our f when to expect your peak fall foliage video as well. I'm going to link a playlist in the pinned comment down below where you can find all of these videos, by the way. Uh, we did our when to expect your first freeze video also. Uh, we did that one a few days ago. And most recently, as of yesterday, we uploaded our second winter forecast for the winter of 2022 to 2023. That'll also be in the playlist or on the top right corner of your screen. We can click that and check it out right now. Now, we also have one more upcoming our actual snowfall forecast for the winter of 2022 to 2023, where we'll go over a ranged amount of snowfall that is your annual average uh, and just go over how much snowfall you can be expecting this winter. So be on the lookout for that one also. Now, our first layer here is we'll get snow. So if you're in this white region, congratulations. On average, you will get snow. Uh, so you're kind of in the running to see potential snowfall this upcoming winter. Now, if you're outside of this region, let's say south of it or west of it for some people, uh, this area does not mean you will for sure not get snow. It just means on average you're not seeing snowfall. Uh, so the very immediate areas just to the south of the white line might see snowfall every other winter. Uh, and then a little bit further south might see it every three winters. And then all the way down south where it's like every 20 or every 100 winters. I don't even know what Miami would be every thousand winters. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't think anybody really knows truly how often they see snowfall. Uh, I'm sure it's happened before in the history of the world. I'm sure it's obviously happened. Um, but, you know, it hasn't been any time recently. I'll tell you that much. Now, we have another region here, and it's going to be our will get snow before January region. So this lighter blue, kind of baby blue region, you will see snowfall before January on average. This means that the white region, on average, that's left over, will see their snowfall at some point during the month of January or February. This blue region, you're before that. So you are before the first day of January on average. Now, this darker blue region is your will get snow before mid-December. This means that the leftover lighter blue band that we see for some folks there, like D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, Richmond, Virginia, uh, we see St. Louis, uh, we see Kansas City in there, Oklahoma City, so we see a lot of bigger towns and cities in there, folks. Uh, that is where we will see snowfall between December 15th and the final day of December, so around Christmas time of year is when you would be seeing your first snowfall on average winters. Now, let's just add another layer here. We'll get snow before December in general. That means that the leftover darker blue region, or medium blue region better yet, is going to be where you will likely see snowfall on average between December 1st and December 15th. So keep that in mind as well. We see cities like Cincinnati, Columbus, Indianapolis, uh, trying to find some others, New York City, and, and probably more that I'm missing here that see their first snowfall in that time period uh, on average. Now, Let's add another layer here. And this is your will get snow before mid-November here in this magenta region. This means that that leftover darker blue region there is where you will see snowfall likely uh, in between November 15th and the final day of November. So for this region, it's going to be around Thanksgiving time of year. Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, um, just to name a few. Boston as well is in there. So we're seeing some bigger cities in this region as well. Uh, that is when to expect it, the final half of November or approximately November 15th through the very, very end of November is where we anticipate to see that. Now, let's just add another layer. We'll get snow before November. This means that the leftover magenta region, you expect to see your first snowfall between November, uh, November 1st and November 15th in there. So cities like Minneapolis. And that's the only one. Salt Lake City as well I see in there. So that's the bigger cities that I'm seeing right now in that region. Uh, also Buffalo, New York as well I'm seeing as well. Uh, these are the regions that we'll see, again, their first snowfall between November 1st and November 15th. 
Let's go ahead and just add another layer here. And this is your will get snow before October region. So this means that the leftover pink region, we see multiple of them. We see some for Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota, also Minnesota up there, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And then we also see the mountainous regions of the Northeast, like New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and even Maine in that pink region. You expect to see your first snowfall at some point during the month of October. So from October 1st till the very end of October, these pink regions will begin to see their first snowfall, which is right around the corner. We're only about a month away, a month and a half away, or six weeks approximately from October. It's, it's August 15th from the time I'm making this video. Amazing to think that we're that close to seeing snowfall and winter just beginning to return. Crazy, crazy stuff. And even this red region here will get snow before October. So that means September or August is when these red regions in Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado can anticipate seeing their first snowfall. Very, very interesting stuff here, guys, um, to say the least. I mean, it really, really is. Now, like I mentioned to you guys, we did upload that second winter forecast. You might have gone and watched it right when I announced it. You might have not. Go check it out after if you haven't. But here is our snowfall chance forecast. So this is going to change things a little bit. Um, that was your kind of national historic averages of snowfall annually. This is what I think is going to happen compared to normal. Okay. So below normal snowfall chance here in a lot of the southern United States, especially the southwest and the southeast. You can go check out the full breakdown on the video. I'll break down the precipitation temperatures, snowfall, and even the overall forecast. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, but the important thing to note here is that your below normal snowfall chance means that you might see a little bit of a later snowfall in general uh, just because there's going to be less of it overall, especially the more uh, south you are here, uh, the more it's going to be probably later because, for instance, you know North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, those areas that see snowfall, you might just not even get snowfall. Uh, even me in Virginia, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like I'm not included here. Okay, uh, I'm in the same boat, guys. You know, Virginia some years does not see snowfall. In below normal snowfall chance years, that could be the case. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that for sure. These are the types of things uh, that can impact the uh, when to expect your first snowfall, really. Now, for above normal snowfall chance, this could mean earlier and just more abundant amounts of snowfall in general. So we see our lighter blue region spread across the northern United States um, for states like Oregon and Washington, all the way through the Rockies into the plains there, diving down all the way south into Oklahoma, Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, and Tennessee, and then back up through the northeast. This lighter blue region is where we expect a little bit above normal snowfall chance. And again, notice I'm saying above normal snowfall chance and not above normal snowfall. It would be really hard to predict, okay, you're going to see above normal snowfall for sure. But by saying above normal snowfall chance, what I'm saying is, is based on the temperature and precipitation forecast, which I'm not going to get into here. Again, you can check out that winter forecast for the full breakdown. But according to those two things, and generally my expectations, who could see more snowfall chances and less snowfall chances. And that's all this is right here, which in turn could lead towards above normal or below normal snowfall. But let's be real. It's really finicky. You know, here in Virginia, one snowstorm could completely crush our average snowfall. Uh, last year, we had back-to-back six-inch snowstorms, snow and we saw 12 inches of snowfall, where that's above average for us. And they were back-to-back -back weekends. So things can happen. You can get into a very short time period where things are favorable for snowfall that really shift things up. So that's why it would be really hard to predict your actual snowfall compared to normal. Uh, instead, we go with snowfall chance. Where do I think is the best chance to be above or below normal uh, as far as snowfall? And we see these two darker blue regions. I'm rambling on, but for the northwest and even the north central and northeastern United States there, these are the areas where I'm especially confident in the above normal snowfall there in the deeper blue regions. Now, you might be wondering a couple things about this map, by the way. First off, why is Los Angeles and Miami even in this? Well, it's just based off of our temperature and precipitation forecast. So again, I mentioned maybe in Miami, there's like a one in, you know, 1,000 chance that they see snowfall this year. Uh, maybe it'll be more like, you know, one in 1,100, for instance, with the below normal snowfall chance. 
Uh, not a huge difference either way, pretty low odds, but that's why it's still included because anything is truly possible, right? I mean, we could go into an ice age, who knows? I mean, anything is possible. You might also be thinking, well, obviously the South has below, below normal chance and the North has above normal chance because uh, the North sees snow and the South doesn't, something along those lines. This is compared to your normal. So for instance, it, let's say, uh, I'm trying to pick a point where I would kind of know. Well, for instance, Virginia, let's say you average 10 inches of snowfall. In the below normal snowfall chance, um, you might see a little bit less than that 10 inches, okay? Um, but... For North Dakota, you might average, you know, 50 inches of snowfall. Uh, and in the above normal snowfall chance, it might be more like 60 or 70. Uh, so just some examples, this is taking your average snowfall into account. But in La Niña's, like we're in, again, there's El Niño, La Nada, and uh, La Niña. We're in a La Niña. This truly favors the northern United States for storminess and snowiness in general typically in just these La Nina's. Also, they can be a little bit reserved with the cold to the north a little bit, although there isn't too much correlation uh, in ENSOs with temperature, you know, predictions. It's much more about precipitation. Uh, now, the south in La Nina's also struggles to get those storm tracks to come through, especially um, the southwest there. And basically, the storm track down there could be non-existent in a La Nina. And then we could see a lot less nor'easters for the southeast. So that's, this is all explaining why uh, the below normal snowfall chance would be taking place. El Nino, you would flip this, by the way. So that, that would be an example of uh, the opposite. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'm kind of rambling on here. And I don't want to give too much away for the winter forecast because I really want you guys to check it out. So be sure to do that. Uh, I'm excited for you guys to watch that one. Uh, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Uh, if you think you will see above normal or below normal snowfall this winter, I'd be curious to hear from you guys. Be sure to smash the like button if you liked it as well. And subscribe for more of these weather videos. I'm going to be doing a lot more long range forecasts because you guys have been absolutely loving them. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.